Now, I could just lay the squirt sheet on there by itself. Usually, you need some fondant under it, um, especially if you're going to refrigerate this at all. Because what will happen is, um, with the moisture, it will just kind of dissolve and won't keep its shape. So, let's just go ahead and trim it first. And we'll roll out a piece of white fondant. I was thinking maybe I want to use this on the score sheet since I have it. And then I think I might still do a little towel with that other so that matches the bag. If you need more cake, you could always do a retro um, shirt like the old shirts they used to wear. Pop that over to the side, move that so you can see. And I just need this to be the same size, or actually I'll make it a little bigger so I can add this to it. So I need a good size rectangle here. Looks like I've got a little red in there, but you're not going to see it, so I don't have to worry. It's a little sticky. Okay, if I actually put this down here, I could do this here. So let me go ahead and take this off. Get some buttercream. Or shortening. Peel this one off. Don't like that little spot of red there. There we go. And I want to trim it right next to the paper. I should probably get that website off. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> All right, a little uneven here, huh? Trim that, and it doesn't matter that much because we're going to kind of curl it anyway. Okay, so I thought we'd kind of lay it over here, cross like this. And for it to stick up there a little use some shortening. Actually, kind of like it down a little lower. And this is what you could write on. If you're going to write happy birthday, you could write on that. Perfect. Perfect. Stop sticking right here on this corner. Okay, and we'll do the little bowling towel and I think we'll call it a day.